Hello, my friends. This is Andy Ord Falco, K9 Academy. I'm getting our hats ready for all of our founders. Uh, they will get a new hat with our logo on them, uh, all fresh from FlexFit. FlexFit is the company that's on the property where we have Falco Field, and um, and uh, these hats are fantastic. Uh, we have uh, the 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 sizes for your head we got small mediums and large and extra large and just another bonus we're adding to those uh, that are uh, coming on board with our founders group i got some great news uh, a little bit earlier just before i came on live and it, it's uh, probably the best news i could have got and that uh, we have um, a uh, uh, somebody who's joined our founding group who uh, is i was praying that they would decide to invest in the program and they did uh, not only uh, not only has Cameron Thompson uh, decided to invest in uh, the founding group for the HDT system, uh, but she's bringing along a couple of her uh, trainers that work within her uh, two organizations uh, to be founding members. Also, what that means to you, uh, those of you that are also going to be deciding before midnight to be founders, is that we we have a really good core of trainers within the founders group who are really going to pull apart and piece piece by piece bring it even to a better uh, uh, organization and understanding of what it is we're trying to do uh, between the, uh, the, the understanding how the emotions is what we're really dealing with when we're dealing with bad behavior, that the three components that disconnect are the physical, the psychic, and the social, and how that all works and, and, and bringing that all together. Um, the canine behavior and emotional therapist, what that means to be a, a, a therapist for the canine's um, uh, behavior and emotion. Uh, the four pillars of balance and the subordination versus submission. And we're going to have them t taking um, our uh, training that we're going to be giving, using it in their organization also, not just in our organization or just the individuals so far that have decided to join the founders group, but really as we are coming together in the founders and in our private group where we're going to be discussing, um, not, probably not day to day, but week by week as a uh, uh, People are beginning to change a little bit or beginning to adjust or beginning to use some of the techniques. Really begin to hone in on what it is that you need, those of you that decide not to take advantage of the founder, which I am shocked or surprised that you don't uh, because, again, it's half price at this point and you get all kinds of bonuses. Uh, and you're going to, as a founder, you get to be a part of all the stuff that we're doing. Uh, and, uh, it is so cool. So, uh, yes, we just made that agreement. Just not, not made that agreement. She, uh, just the fact that she hit buy <laughs> and decided to go in. Uh, and I'm so happy, so happy that, uh, to have her on board and uh, her trainers, it's going to be something else. So I can see Gina. Hey, Gina, you want to join us? I don't know if you can. I don't know if you're in a position to do that. But uh, if you want to or anybody else wants to join us and ask me questions, that's fine. I'm going to put the uh, the link. If you have a camera and a mic uh, that you can join, then just click on that link. And uh, if uh, we can hear you and see you, we'll keep you on. If we can't, then uh, you're gone. We're kicking you out. Uh, but I'll stay on for just a little bit. But uh, I just really wanted to come in. I wanted to come on and remind everybody that midnight tonight, uh, the, the, the opportunity to be in the founders group is going to go away at midnight tonight. No there's no way possible that you can get in uh, to the founders group uh, and, unless you sign in before, um, uh, you know, with the current bonuses, with the opportunity to, to attend some of the training that we have upcoming uh, that we're planning. We don't have dates set yet. You're going to be able to come for free. That You're going to be able to be in the group, in the private group, uh, as uh, as um, part of being a founder. Um, um, I would have just got out of the shot. We're early. <laughs> Of course, she challenged my filter, uh, Gina. <laughs> that's a good reason not to come on um, because, uh, yes, that's um, just best, I guess, for um, uh, my um, not my membership with Facebook. What's that called? Um, you know, Facebook will turn me off and we won't be able to have this platform anymore. But uh, uh, yes, uh, Gina and I and uh, Derek and Aldo, we're going to be uh, spending some time this weekend together. We're going to be going out in the, and attending a, a class uh, together. So we have we um, I've attended a class in a very long time, somebody else's class in a very long time. Uh, but um, uh, I'm so looking forward to it uh, just to see, uh, you know, what people are doing and, and, you know, maybe how they're doing it differently and just kind of just seeing what's out there and see what's going on. So um, uh, that's going to be a good time for all of us. We're going to be going out there together. Um, and um, I'm hoping 
that uh, once I get out there, that maybe somehow, some way we'll be able to broadcast uh, and tell you a little bit more about it. I don't want to talk too much about it without uh, having anybody's permission uh, to um, to say what we're doing. And that, um, and if we don't get to uh, broadcast, then it will sound bad that something's being hidden or something like that. So there, there's a whole thing. Uh, Team Falco bonding. Yes, we're going to be doing some bonding. Uh, yes, absolutely. Let me go ahead and turn off my lower third so that doesn't look so funky. <clears throat> and Lowen again. Man, Lowen, I have seen you more in the last couple of days than I've seen you in the last uh, 10 years or however long it is. How long has it been since uh, we uh, we were uh, working together at Falco Canine Security? Uh, it's been a while. Um, but uh, Lowen was one of our great employees, one of our great guys who handled uh, Bruno before Bruno retired and uh, went uh, and uh, and uh, became my uh, demo dog for doing uh, detection uh, demonstrations. And then also I work with um, uh, Bruno uh, at uh, different events like the, um, the Koch brothers. I think I took Bruno to that. Yep. Um, I also took him to Starlight Star Bright Foundation, Steven Spielberg, uh, Spielberg's organization. We did a bomb search, uh, uh, explosive search for an event that he was doing. Uh, who else did we work for? Scientology. We did a lot of work with Scientology. <laughs> um, five years. Really? Uh, seems seems longer. Um, who else did we do some work for? We worked at Caesars Palace, at Planet Hollywood. We've been, uh, where else? Bruno and I went to Aspen, Colorado. We went to South Carolina, Texas. Uh, Bruno and I traveled a lot in those five years. Um, and as you know, Bruno just recently had to be put down because of... Um, cancer actually didn't get put down he uh, died uh, in the kitchen uh, and uh, was found in the morning so um, Lowen was the handler who trained with Bruno uh, and uh, became one of the best detection dogs on the planet for sure that I could stood stand on the stage at Caesar's Palace in front of 800 people where within the 800 people there were four or six uh, samples of narcotics that I had hidden before the event in different parts of uh, all the way in the back of the room. Imagine how large of a room, a conference room uh, that holds 800 people at Caesar's palace, um, how large that is. And in that room with standing room only. So there were more there. I think it was seating was 800. So I would guess it was somewhere about 850 because there were at least 50 people standing up in the background, eating muffins. People brought in food. It was standing room only. It was a full house. And I sent Bruno out into the audience from standing on the stage and he searched and found, uh, I think, every one but one uh, of the, um, uh, the training aids on his own while I stood on the stage. And, um, and it was fantastic. That's the kind of work that this dog would do. Again, he may have been one of the best narcotics dogs that I uh, ever trained. And in the beginning, it didn't look like it was going to work. If uh, Lowen remembers correctly, there were days where I was, you know, I had this thing of rubbing my face when I get frustrated. And I rubbed my face a lot because uh, Bruno just, I in the beginning, was just not picking up on what it was we wanted from him. And it took a little while. But then he got it, and uh, and oh my gosh, he was an amazing, an amazing dog, and just really appreciated the fact that he had a, a, a handler like Lowen uh, in the beginning that obviously uh, set him off on the right uh, uh, steps. Uh, Lowen would eventually take that dog and do searches in schools in Indio, um, uh, the city of Indio here in Southern California, Palm Springs, Cathedral City, and wherever else we could, we had him go. Did work at the White House. Um, it's a White House restaurant in Anaheim, not really the White House, White House, but the White House restaurant in Anaheim and a bunch of other stuff. And so I um, appreciated Lowen uh, for being one of our um, our key uh, people at Falco Canine Security when we were having success. And then everything went horribly wrong, which I don't want to tell you about. So anyway, <laughs> uh, all of this, though, at the end, I mean, whether it's good or bad, it's, it's going to go into the human uh, dog transformation system, which we're creating uh, as we speak. Um, I've already put in a couple of videos in there. So if you are a founding member, go ahead and take a look at those couple of videos I put in there as you're signing in. Remember, we also, oh, you had a great bite too. I forgot about that. Uh, I need to be reminded of the bite. I forgot completely because uh, 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 Bruno was also a protection dog, protection dog, uh, detection dog. And so, um, yeah, he did both. Um, and so uh, as we are developing the human dog transformation system, 
Again, that is our working title right now. It may change as times go on because there's a couple things that kind of hit me and go, oh, that would be a cool title. But right now, that's what it's called because we're transforming both the human and the dog and then both of them together. On some level, it sounds like we're turning a human into a dog. That's not what we're doing. So there can be some confusion. And so we want to make sure that the name doesn't cause confusion. That's always important in marketing and in branding. Uh, but um, it is a transformation of the human transformation of the dog and then the transformation of them together as a team uh and we have done it over and over and over again aldo Secchi and i have two programs that we've created uh both together and somewhat separately i would say that uh, uh training your dog with human and respect was a little bit before aldo came in i think we made a few changes as aldo came in and began to really uh, bring a little bit of his influence into the uh, training your dog with love and respect however uh Together, we then would create, and he, in, in, in a large portion, would create uh, the Sechi method, uh, which was also called uh, the uh, Onyx program. Uh, and we had all these different names. And so you have, we had the system that we use for group training. We had the system we use for the Onyx program. And then we had the Sechi method, which really grew when he went back to Argentina and began to train a whole pull, uh, just a ton of dogs in Argentina, whether they were street dogs, pet dogs, uh, shelter dogs, service dogs. I'm going to um, end up putting a little bit of a story on the Falco, Falco Canine Academy website uh, where uh, they are training dogs for autistic children in Argentina using the SETSHI method, essentially the human dog transformation system currently in Argentina to create dogs that are helping autistic children in um, uh, Argentina right now and uh, having great, great success. And so uh, it's all going to be coming together here in one program. So all those things I talked about, uh, uh, training your dog with love and respect, uh, the Onyx program, the Sechi method, um, whatever other name that we've given something that we've done uh, is all going to come under one single heading and allow us to train dogs no matter what it is that they're coming to us for, whether they're coming for service, whether they're coming for therapy, or they're coming to us because they have a, 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 a huge problems and issues that they need to be worked for, problematic dogs is what I like to call them, or simply just obedience and group uh, obedience training or uh, private training. It's all gonna be done under one heading, and that's what's gonna make it so beautiful as we have now some really great people in the founders group. If you are not, again, I don't even know. I, I, I know that somebody sent me a message and said, you know, it sounded too much like Amway and with the pyramid over your shoulder, it just wasn't for me. And so I decided not to take it. That's fine. And I didn't mean to put a, 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 a a, a certain tone of voice to it. But um, again, that is perfect because we know for sure that it's not for you that maybe later on when you realize and see uh, the impact that this program is having that now and then it might be for you. But I'm telling you right now that uh, it is only for those people who want to have success in training all kinds of dogs, right? Not just certain dogs. That's one thing that we find in dog training is that some people have a very narrow niche that they can handle because they don't either have the, the experience or they've not got the training or they've uh, just surrounded themselves with dogs that fit into this little narrow path. Uh, either little dogs or big dogs. Uh, when you get into areas of problematic dogs that bite and are aggressive, there's so many trainers out there that just have no idea how to handle that. Most, I don't know how to say most, a large portion of our business, I know for sure in the past, came from other trainers who would secretly tell people, hey, go um, call Falco Canine Academy because they handle these kinds of dogs. Uh, and so we'd get lots of calls <laughs> from people that said, you know, such and such uh, dog trainer in blah, 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 uh, sent me to you because they had said that you could help me and they, they just didn't feel it fit within what, what they were able to handle. And so I cannot tell you how many calls like that that we get um, and dogs. And I mentioned this before, dogs that were on the way to, to be taken to the shelter, uh, make a, a U-turn or a right turn or a left turn and come over to Falco Canine Academy and said, you know, before I euthanize this dog, I was wondering if you could take a look and see if you can help me. And then sure enough, we would help that dog and uh, the dog would stay in the family and find a forever home. And so that is our history. So as we're bringing these things together uh, uh, and we have uh, members of our founders group, which is fantastic, is that we're going to be teaching them. They're going to be using it, breaking it, bring it back to us and say, you know, all this works except for, and we're missing something here, a component. There's a good chance that they're not going to miss anything. And there's a good chance that Aldo's going to do a great job and I'm going to do a, a decent job of uh, giving them the information that helps them be successful the first time. But there's no doubt 
that there's some trainers that have certain things they can do, certain things they can't do. Some people can dance, some people can't dance, some people can um, dive into a pool, and some people can't. Right? There's all people, all kinds of different folks that can do certain things, and there's some that some that can't. And so that is important to know ahead of time. And so um, we are going to figure that out. How it is that we can make this system work for almost not every because I think that's impossible. Almost every trainer and how we can make it for almost every dog owner. Again, there's some people that are just, uh, you know, challenged and, it, and it's very, very difficult. Save dog, train yours. Nice. <laughs> oh, I should have wore the shirt. Why was I wearing your shirt, uh, uh, Gina? Uh, gosh darn it. What was I thinking? I'm wearing the other Falco Canine Academy shirt uh, uh, and uh, didn't think to put on the other one. Aldo's wearing his. He's giving a webinar right now in Spanish to South America currently. So I could actually hear him. He gets very loud. He gets louder than I do. And uh, he's wearing uh, your shirt, uh, I believe. At least he was earlier. Um, some people that we can't train just aren't willing to listen, right? We, um, uh, I'm hoping that in some aspects, some of the things I'll be able to give you as trainers is how to work if you need to, right? There's something to be said for not working with um, uh, PETA, we call them, pain in the, right, pain in the ass, P-I-T-A, PETA customers, PETA clients. There's um, something to be said, just, you know, it's better not to work with them because in most cases, those people tend to be the ones that cost you more time, cost you more money, and, uh, and, and eventually in the end, maybe even give you a one on your Facebook page saying that you didn't help them, even though you gave them every opportunity to be helped and they just weren't willing to be helped. Right. And so you're going to have those. There's no doubt. So um, there's going to be some training that's going to say, you know what, just let those people go because that's just not um, healthy for us or them uh, or their dog. Um, and but you, sometimes you see the dog walk away, go, sorry, buddy, I wanted to help you, but your human is uh, a PETA. Uh, but we're going to try to get through that. Of course, none of you that are watching are PETAs because you're watching and you uh, uh, have to see some value in what it is we're doing. Uh, but uh, the only thing I can tell you is uh, this: uh, the founder uh, program ends at midnight. If you're not in by midnight uh, to join uh, us uh, here at Falco Canine Academy, uh, the current people that have signed in and decided to make that jump and make that leap again, it's, it's half price. So you really can't go wrong. Um, and it makes no sense not to, but the people have found a reason not to, that's okay. Uh, one was that we sound like Amway and that I have a pyramid over my shoulder, uh, which I just kind of look at, that's the American flag. I'm not sure uh, if you can call that a pyramid, but uh, you're more than welcome to believe what you want and do what you want. But I'm telling you that I think that uh, in many ways, um, this is the, the best opportunity uh, for you to change your life as a dog trainer to change the lives of other dogs and human beings and do in some ways I think you're again I talked about this earlier you can use the system to do so many other things because it does based on the discussion that Aldo and I had today it can teach teachers how to have a better organization of their classrooms and I know that sounds crazy I know I'm well aware. I did a broadcast earlier about CBD oil uh, and the effect it's had on my blood pressure, on my uh, pre-diabetic diagnosis I got several months ago, uh, that virtually all those are gone. I, my blood pressure is now almost so low that I better not take my blood pressure medication. Uh, I was warned that I better uh, you know, uh, uh, watch out because if I continue taking blood pressure medication, medication and CBD oil, that I could drop down to a very low level. And I know that on some level too, I got two of these things going on that you bring up all this stuff and people go, come on, really? And so I show proof, always show proof, always show proof. And so that's why I do videos where I'm actually training dogs on live video. And you've seen me do that a lot, right? A lot of trainers won't do training live with a dog because there's they, there's this perception that if things go wrong, then people won't like me. And then uh, if it goes wrong, then it shows that I'm not that good. No. Right. That is your lie that you're telling yourself. The lie is that you're not good enough. That Whatever happens means that you're bad. No, that is a lie. Right. The truth is people want to see how things work. They want to see that mistakes are made. And then how do you recover from that mistake or how do you change the way from that mistake? There's nothing wrong with choosing the wrong tool in the beginning, as long as it's not inhumane, uh, choosing the wrong tool in the beginning, but then knowing how to adjust, how to make that adjustment. And this is some of the things that we're going to teach you is that there's going to be some, there's going to be a system in place that's going to, uh, first of all, hopefully allow you to make less errors, 
But when you make an error or just the thing you thought was going to work, that you, you, you uh, determined uh, is not going to work, that you have a place to go immediately to help you with the problem solving of that particular situation so that you, you have the resources, you have the training that you can adjust, right? Sometimes we get dogs that in, in the beginning uh, don't seem to be aggressive because in the first couple of days, in many cases, if we take a, a board and train, we don't see the personality. We don't see the things that are causing uh, the humans, the problems that they've described to us. But then suddenly we see it later on as the dog begins to get more comfortable, the dog begins to uh, you know, feel that now this is the time that he can now act out and be aggressive. Where in the beginning, a lot of dogs aren't in the beginning because they're over uh, stimulated uh, and they uh, power down just a little bit until they figure out whether they can be aggressive and be safe when they do it. And as dogs are doing that, they begin to adjust. And then all of a sudden, bam, you see this dog rawr, and then try to eat you or the opposite, right? Some dogs are really defensive and, and aggressive in the beginning because they do feel intimidated because they're the fear uh, sets in and they're super aggressive. And then realizing, you know what we need to wait this out a little bit so we can get to the real dog right the dog is in his emotion is causing all of this bad behavior so understanding that it's the emotion that's causing it knowing do we wait do we deal with it now do we use this tool do we use another tool do we hold food and then feed the dog by hand all these things is understanding that it's the emotion that you need to worry about not necessarily the behavior the behavior can be worked on once you understand the emotion and so we're going to talk about that and, and how to deal with that with all these systems. And this is just the beginning. What I wrote here is just in the first is in the first part of the uh, human dog transformation system. This is just the first part. All right. And I think there's a, right now we got five more parts after that. So this is how you're going to get started. I know that seems a lot. It seems like uh, this alone is worth simply the price of the founder's uh, part. Right. And then you're going to essentially look at you're getting the rest for free and then all the bonuses and everything else that I put out there for you and a very cool hat. You're going to get a hat. I will give all the founding members a hat. Um, and we are they're already in the box already here. They're ready to go. And um, and hopefully I have to buy more because uh, we got something like 20 hats over there. <clears throat> if I have to buy more, I will. All right. So uh, let me go ahead and put the link in there again. Oh, man. Um, I think the best place always uh, for me is to go with the webinar. I think that's the best place to go. So I'll start with the webinar. So you can follow the webinar. If, you, if you've if you already seen the webinar, just look in the description of this Vimeo link that I'm going to give you, and you will uh, find the landing page to, um, to opt in and purchase the founding program. All right. If, for whatever reason, if you um, message me before midnight, and say, for whatever reason, I, I wanted to find the landing page. I couldn't find the landing page. If you message me before midnight, I will still give it to you and you can get in. But if it's if it's after midnight, then again, I got it's just a hard line. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna open up, I'm not gonna offer it, I'm not gonna make it available. As a matter of fact, it's just gonna be forgotten. All right. We'll talk about our founding members and that kind of stuff a little bit, but getting into the program is over at midnight uh, tonight. And so, and now that is what? Uh, uh, four hours from now. I'll say, so that's plenty of time to watch the webinar. If you haven't watched the webinar yet, just to learn a little bit more about it. And, um, and then make your decision. If um, you message me before midnight and you're not able to find the landing page to get in there. Um, actually, and let's see. I'm going to try to pull it up here. Uh, let's see. Maybe Loan can tell me another story. Uh, while we're waiting, got any more stories there, Lauren? <laughs> um, no, 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 I got to log in. And as you're getting in, remember that. Um, oh, wow, look at that. Hmm. They just added something new inside Kajabi. Huh. All right. Sorry, they just added something brand new and uh, it's, uh, it's running and I am trying to get past it here. Um, if, hello. It wants me to switch on. I can't get into my own system here. It's asking me to switch on. Hide. There we go. All right. Marketing. All right. So everything has to happen for midnight. You either have to uh, purchase or you have to send me a message that for whatever reason you had a problem. But it has to, it can't be, well, um, 
can you give me one more day to think about it? No, if you're not signed up or you, you have to at least try to have signed up. <clears throat> and um, I'm so sorry my voice is doing this right now. <clears throat> Here we go. All right, I got so many things to click on. Uh, Kajabi just created a bunch of new things. And so of course it wants to tell me about them all. Um, offers i'm getting there i promise you wow what is happening here they changed it i love it i love what they've changed uh i don't necessarily love the 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 fact that i cannot find the links that i need to find um wow that is so crazy ah oh, there it is just found it they did move it Nice. Actually, that now that it's there, that makes a lot more sense that they, they put it there. All right. Edit. And there it is. All right. So here's a landing page for, it's going to be in the comment section, for getting in Gina, Lowen, Gina, 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 Lowen. Uh, there we go. All right. So here's a landing page. So right now, in order, based on time, is you first have your Vimeo. And it says um, HTTPS and then forward slash forward slash Vimeo. That is the video for the webinar. And then the uh, the Healthy Dog Network, Mike Kajabi, that is the landing page for being able to sign up and purchase access um, for the Founders Program. All right. Those are available to you now. Four hours, a little less than four hours to, uh, to get in or to send me a message that you had a problem getting in. And it's done. It's done. We're over. Uh, when we wake up in the morning, we'll be talking about other stuff. We'll be talking about the program as it, as it comes out. We'll be showing you some stuff and showing you some examples of how the program is working. And then uh, later on, you can make a decision to get in for double the price. So right now it's uh, half price as a founding member, plus all kinds of bonuses that you won't get at uh, the full price. All right. And, uh, and also a hat. <laughs> all right. Uh, oh, and also the TV show that I tell you about the 50 networks that we're going on, um, on the, uh, that are going to be on Roku on, um, uh, Amazon, on Apple TV, on Sony, Panasonic, Smart TVs, uh, your, the show that we're going to be doing is going to be featuring our founders, trainers uh, and, and on that TV show. And that's on all those places. So you'll get that too. And plus all the other bonuses I talk about in the webinar. All right. So that is it for me tonight. My voice is about ready to go. I think I've been on six Facebook lives today, uh, not to mention on the phone and doing a bunch of other stuff. So my voice is about ready to cut out. And so before that happens, I need to sign off. And uh, I'm looking forward to working with all of you that have decided to opt in to the Founders Program and cannot wait to get started. All right. So I'll see you then. Take care, Gina. Thanks uh, for watching. We'll see you tomorrow morning. And uh, Loan, always great to see you. And uh, and hope you're doing well. And uh, just let me know if there's anything I can do for you. All right. Take care. God bless. Bye.